For the record, Mr. Tarleton, what is your wife's name? Teresa. If you have more questions, I'd rather get this over with now. Can I comfort my daughters now? Do you have any idea why anyone would want to hurt your wife? No. Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. It can't be anyone who knew her. I think you're lying, Lars. I think you were mad at your wife for embarrassing you in front of your friends. I think you came back here and strangled her and then dumped her body on the hill. You think I strangled my wife? How do you expect to prove that? Without a scrap of evidence, you're ready to pin a murder on me? For the record, Terrells, did you kill your wife? Oh my god, this is... No, I didn't kill my wife. And fuck you for suggesting it. So you don't know anyone who would want her dead? No, I don't. You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place? That's right, Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. So when I call this Bobby Ross character and he tells me you're lying... Look, what do I have to do to convince you that I stayed at the party? I want to find who did this. I want to help. And? I was playing Pinochle with some of the guys. Teresa had a few belts too many. She said she wanted to go out dancing. Mr. Terrelson, was Teresa happy at home? Yeah, I think she was. I think you're in an unhappy marriage, Lars. I think you're lying, and you would like to get it off your chest. You telling me my wife was unhappy? What proof do you have of that? Why aren't you out there trying to catch the person who did this? But not last night. She wanted to go dancing. I wanted to stay at the party. When was the last time you saw your wife? Around 8.30. The card game at Bobby's was wrapping up. I played out my hand and drove home here. I paid the sitter and went to bed. You're lying, Lars. You didn't come straight home, did you? And how do you figure that? I came back here and went to bed. Why is that so hard to believe? In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish, Lars. And you're the perfect husband, I suppose. Why did you only report your wife missing this morning? I thought she would have called up last night from the bar. If Bobby Ross doesn't confirm your story, we are going to come back here and pick you up. This doesn't look good, Lars. We could break the husband's story right now. Call in, get some uniforms dispatched to check out his alibi. Please, can I have some time to explain to my daughters? I'll be out of your way momentarily, ladies. Where's my mom? You've got a mean face. Do you have any idea why anyone would want to hurt your wife? No. Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. It can't be anyone who knew her. I think you're lying, Lars. I think you were mad at your wife for embarrassing you in front of your friends. I think you came back here and strangled her and then dumped her body on the hill. You think I strangled my wife? How do you expect to prove that? Your wife was strangled with triple braid rope. The bowline from your boat is a perfect match. Look, I know this looks bad. I'm gonna have to come to terms with the fact that I let her go. You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place? That's right, Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. You let your drunk wife leave the party and go off on her own? Look, I was angry. I was having a good time. 
She has to go and ruin it. We always have to do what she wants to do. Last night she wanted to go dancing. Any idea where? Where she always goes. A bar down on North Beaudry Avenue. Baron's Bar. She goes there, drinks too much, gets maudlin, and calls me. I go and bring her home. <laughs> Mr. Terrelson, was Teresa happy at home? Yeah, I think she was. Spill it, Terrelson. We like the look of you for this, so you better give us something. We're at the party. She has a few and says she wants to go out dancing. We only have the sitter until nine. I get mad. I tell her to go ahead, but I'm staying. She storms out. Look, I'm doing well at cards. I hardly ever do well. I married her because she was so much fun, but now she drives me fucking crazy. What time did she leave the party? About 8.30, maybe a little earlier. When was the last time you saw your wife? Around 8.30. The card game at Bobby's was wrapping up. I played out my hand and drove home here. I paid the sitter and went to bed. You're lying, Lars. You didn't come straight home, did you? And how do you figure that? You were out in the rain. You got soaked, Lars. We found your wet weather gear. Okay, I stayed a little later than I said. This cute little brunette was hitting on me. <sighs> Teresa noticed. I was half cut. I walked her home from Bobby's, but nothing happened. I walked back and got the car this morning. Thanks for answering our questions, Mr. Terrelson. You'll need to go downtown to identify your wife's body. I should have taken her dancing. In my experience, Mac, be given to Brods, you'll be given into them your entire life. We could break the husband's story right now. Call in, get some uniforms dispatched to check out his alibi. I can't believe Teresa's dead. Go away unless you can bring my mommy home. You've got a mean face.